Bree's family. Ron and I have decided to get married. Bores a crowd. Maybe this is an idea you could grow to like. Don't you ever miss Daddy? I've had just about enough of this. You aren't my father and you never will be. Part two of The Mall, Thursday. And ABC News Brief, now from New York, Bob Jameson. Good afternoon. President Bush today announced a new multi-billion dollar program of economic aid for Russia and the other former Soviet republics. The U.S. proposal is part of a $24 billion package from Western nations. In a major foreign policy speech, Democratic presidential frontrunner Bill Clinton accused the White House of moving too slowly on the question of Russian aid. And National Hockey League players have voted to go on strike. That's News Brief. This is the world, and there's no mistake in the world. Hello, Joe. What do you know? Let's sample a bottle. I'll make it two. One for you and one for me. Now we get warm. Diet Coke. It's Montgomery Ward Week. Hundreds of items throughout the store, never priced lower. Save on the hottest brands in electric. Called in this veteran drug agent to fix it. You won't believe how he's fixing it. Want to hear about it? We thought you might on the CBS Evening News tonight. Good afternoon. From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. President Bush is pledging the U.S. will kick in its share to a $24 billion international aid package for the former Soviet Union. Campaigning in New York, Democratic presidential candidate Bill Clinton criticized Mr. Bush for not giving more aid sooner. A U.N. report says the number of women dying from tobacco use will double over the next three decades to more than one million a year. Reason? The big increase in women smokers since World War II. And the hockey playoff season is skating on thin ice. NHL players have gone on strike. Now this. At universities like this, clinical studies prove there's a way to lose weight simply and effectively without caffeine or caffeine nervousness. It's Dexatrim. Dexatrim helps you control your appetite so you can lose weight without feeling hungry. And no other weight loss product has more published medical studies to show that it works. In fact, studies prove that four out of five people lost weight with Dexatrim. Now that's powerful proof. Dexatrim, medically proven to help you lose weight. I'm Connie Chung. See you tonight on the Evening News. This is CBS. Tonight on TV8 News, live at 10, an eye on your health. I'm Jill Lingwall. New computer technology at the Iowa Methodist Medical Center is allowing people in wheelchairs to walk. The Parastep system is being tested in only 19 centers across the country. And tonight's Eye on Your Health, find out how it works and how it can change the lives of people paralyzed by spinal cord injuries. Tonight on TV8 News, live at 10, Iowa's news leader. Coming up tomorrow, live at noon, former hostage Thomas Sutherland is back in central Iowa. We'll tell you why. Mary will be talking about fundraising efforts by those who have survived breast cancer. Plus a warm-up as we head toward later in the week. Details at noon. Good afternoon. Sue Mason, TV8 News Break. A special prosecutor has been named to look into the shooting death of 20-year-old Julius Bryan, who was killed by an off-duty deputy two weeks ago. Des Moines attorney Rob Blink will investigate just what happened that night on Court Avenue that led to the death of Brian. Riverboat gambling was launched one year ago today on the Mississippi, and anniversary celebrations are taking place in eastern Iowa. Iowa and Illinois tourism officials held a joint news conference today to show solidarity for the riverboat gambling industry. Steve Carlin is in the Quad Cities and will report live tonight at 6. More news in an hour. Welcome to Love Connection where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology, where you hear all the intimate details of a first date, 
Sometimes our dates have a happy ending. And some other times, there's just an ending. But it's always unpredictable when two strangers meet.